What is up, guys? It is I, James Poop, again, back with more of Kirby Triple Deluxe. And in the last video, we have completed all of the DDD tour, which is the main game, but with King DDD. And so in this video, we're going to do something that we just unlocked, which is the true arena. So the difference between this and the normal arena is that the normal arena has the bosses we fought in the normal story mode. The true arena has the bosses we fought in the DDD tour, along with the DX bosses from the story mode. Uh, so, as well as an additional boss that we've not fought before. So, we're going to go there right now and see how well we do. So, we play as Kirby, obviously, so I'm going to get the hammer ability. Because that's the best ability there is. But there are many other abilities as well. And all that. But I'm going to use hammer, because I think it's better. And let's go and fight all of the bosses. Let's go! And we fight Paintra first. Get this cool music. Alright. We got Paintra first. Oh, got her there. I'm gonna keep hitting her. Oh. Oh, got it there. Okay. Some of these will be a cape walk, but not but some of these will be very difficult. Okay. Almost there. Got it there. Okay, paint trail was so easy. We didn't even take damage in that one. And now, see the music's a lot quieter. I'm gonna take that, but I'm not gonna use that yet. Now we got flowery woods. Flowery woods should also be easy. So we're just gonna keep on. Hitting flowery woods. Okay, there we go. Okay, got it in there. Oh, it took a bit of damage there, but that doesn't matter. Oh no! So I didn't know where that was gonna go. Whatever. Yeah, the true arena is meant to be harder than the original as well, because you have less healing than the normal one. So, that's pretty much the only disadvantage, really. Oh god, he's really massive. Oh my god. And he's back over there. No! No! Oh my god! I'm literally trying to hurt him. Alright. Whoa! Okay, we got him there. Okay. Got him there. And who do we fight next? So we fight these guys. We've got a keychain there. Because I want to try and save the tomato for last. So we can only use some of these. And do you seriously need to go in there, Kirby? No, you don't. Okay, time for the mid bosses. In which they're also going to be slightly difficult. 
first off, we have Mr. Frosty. Oh, got Mr. Frosty. Alright. Next up is Grand Wheelie. No, no, uh, Flame Galbros. Oh, oh, we easily got in there. Next up is... No, Gig and Edge. Okay, Grand Wheelie's in the other set. I'm just going to keep getting in there. And now it's Blocky in there. Yep. Oh, got him there. Wow, we didn't even take damage in that one. Wow, that was impressive. Okay. Krakow's next. Krakow should be slightly easy, but not too much. Alright. Yeah, we easily get him there. And then he's gonna bring his tornado out for those. You can easily dodge that. Then he's gonna do that. Okay, there we go. And he's gonna do this. Nice! Oh wow! Oh, we defeated him quickly. He didn't even made us go to be to the behind area. Wow! He didn't even made us go in the background. Okay, mid bosses again. Okay. Doom, doom, doom. Now we got crystals everywhere. Alright, now, oh, Grand Wheelie's first one. Okay, I got him there. Ah, oh, what? Come on. Right, who's next? Bonkers! Easily get him. Oh, it got him there. Bunkers are so easy a bit. Next up is the Hornhead. Not or not the Hornhead, just Hornhead. Got ya. Got you there. Right, I'm definitely gonna need to heal now, but not with the norm, not with the tomato in my inventory. We've got another keychain. Now it's Pyramid. I'm pretty sure you say his name as. No, why do I keep going into the star? I'm always thinking I need to go in that, but no, I don't. Oh my god. Alright. Okay, we got him a couple of times there. It's probably going to be a bit difficult. Oh no! Okay, I got him there. I'm gonna keep hitting him there. I got him there. And now he's gonna summon these magma things. Do 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 do. Now he's going to do this, which I believe it's going sideways. 
No! No! Come on. Ah, oh, what? I can't even damage him. For the most part. Okay, he's breathing fire. I can barely see. Oh, he's nearly dead. Oh, wow! <laughs> Just as he hit the floor! Oh my god! Okay, next up we have Coily Rattler, he's going to be a bit difficult. Uh, I'm going to risk it without the tomatoes. But it's going to be very hard, I assume. Oh no. Oh, got in there. He's gonna go there. Okay. Oh! Jeez. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. This part might be easy though. Depends. Yeah, okay. It's impossible to damage him here, even though he's clearly has his head visible sometimes. Oh god. Oh yes! Okay. Who do we find next? Okay, it's Queen Sectonia next, alright. I'm gonna get one of those tomatoes. Next up, we're in a portal? Why a portal? Ah, oh, whatever. That should be enough for Sectonia. And it's the normal form, so... Oh! You can do that as well, now. Ah, oh, got it there. Ooh. Summon your goddamn gem, or jewel, or diamond, pink diamond. <laughs> oh. Okay. And we can just uh, use this to dodge these. Oh wow, that was quick. Are we gonna do this without taking damage? Oh my god. Oh what, I lost the hammer. Ah, oh, whatever. I didn't know I would lose that. I'm gonna have to do this with stars now. This is where she changes. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Oh no! Okay. Gotcha! Ha! I've lost the hammer. Uh, unless I get the hammer ability again, then hopefully that'll be good. We'll just have to see. Okay, we got Shadow DDD next. Okay, no, the Beetle ability is the best we could use. Right, I'm gonna try and use that. Uh, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna, it's just gonna have to be uh, a chance. All right, Shadow DDD. Let's see 
how well we do here. Kirby's never fought him before, so... Oh wow, that, that actually hurt him. Okay, we got him there. He's going to revenge mode. Oh, well, no. Oh, wow. That was impressive. Oh, God, no. And then he's going to do the shockwave thing. A lot of stars, but... No! I keep losing the ability. No! Come on, defeat him! He's not getting defeated. I'm just gonna have to use that then. Oh my god. Now the fights are gonna be harder. Get out of my way! Oh, got him! Oh my god! Okay. Now for Dark Meta Knight. Okay, we got the hammer ability now. I'm definitely using that. Oh my god. But no healing items. It's our best bet. Hopefully, we can do this. Dark Meta Knight shouldn't be that bad. Unless he deals me a lot of damage, then that'll be a huge problem. Yeah, he's easy so far. Oh, got him there. Okay. It should be slightly easier now. I'm going to pay attention to the moving one. Okay. Oh! Okay. Do 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 it. Okay. And what's he gonna do now? Oh, he's gonna do that, which is so easy. It's nearly down. <laughs> Got you there. You don't even get destroyed in the mirror now. And now for an exclusive Queen Sectonia fight. Let's uh, go ahead and see what this fight is. We've got quite a bit of health, but let's see if we can do this. Right. Over stuff. There's none other than um, the soul of Sectonia. So you basically do the same thing here. We just attack the flowers. And we can also attack the vines as well, and we did no damage there. 
And yeah, the rest of the fight is pretty much similar. It's just a, a soul version. Okay. Oh wow! That was slightly easy. Do, 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 do. Okay, what next? This. Oh god! Oh no! I've lost the hammer! Oh! 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 Oh god, no. Yeah, it's so difficult. Okay, this again. It should be easy to dodge. Okay. Can I hit them? Oh, yes, it is possible to do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't die. No! No! Oh my god, I've been pushed! I've got to do all of that again. <sighs> I'll meet you guys back. Alright guys, we're back with this fight. Uh, I've created a save state. Yes, you can do that with Citra. Uh... Uh, to take me back to this fight whenever uh, I fail again, so hopefully I shouldn't. But uh, if I do, then I will reload the save state. And I've also got a tomato saved. In case. Okay, let's see if I can get to these. Oh, oh, wow, that was so quick. Yeah! That was so funny. Okay. Oh, God, no. Don't lose that. All right, thank God. Oh, nice! We defeated her! But it's still not over yet. You think it is? But it isn't. Because there's more. Oh, damn. Yep, she's out. Now we have the real soul of Sectonia. And the way this fight works is similar to the other soul fights in uh, past Kirby games. And now it's the good time to use our maximum tomato. And it is very hard, this a bit. So that's why I created a safe state here as well. Alright. So now... This fight pretty much incorporates elements from past games with Soul Fights, so this part resembles uh, Drossia Soul a bit, as well as Mark Soul. Uh, so Drossia Soul in, um, oh my god, I'm sucking a lot there. Drossia Soul from Canvas Curse, or Power Paintbrush, and Mark Soul from um, uh, Superstar Ultra. Oh my god. This is an insane fight. Oh my god. 
Now she's going to do this, which resembles Drossia Soul and, and a bit of Mark Soul as well. But more Drossia Soul, this part. Well, this part is definitely uh, Drossia Soul. Okay. <laughs> yep, that resembles more of Drossia Soul, but a bit of Mark Soul as well. Only his is a lot faster. Okay. Can't even hit her, but. Alright. Alright, if we can get her, I'll be amazed. Oh, wow. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, no! Oh god, no. Okay, what's she gonna do now? She's gonna do this again. Oh, now it's this from this side. Oh god, I'm really low on health. Oh, she's doing this again. Nearly down. Yes, we got it. <laughs> and that is the end. It took us 15 minutes for that, oh my god. Well, when we redid it, so yeah. Okay, we got Starman. And then we have Chef Kawasaki. And then we've got Kabula. And UFO. Uh, Clean Kirby. And Blade Knight. Along with Inhaling Kirby. And Maximum Tomato. Uh, Masher, that's it. So, what do we get after this? Well, the true arena again, but... Okay, so we got 98%. So that means there's only a couple more keychains we need. And I think after that we get something else. I don't know. Uh, but... Uh, but yeah, we got a heck ton of keychains. Uh, so, and obviously some keychains are very rare to get because it's like a chance that you get them. So, uh, so I don't know. Oh, it'll let us get more. Okay, Mr. TikTok. We got like Kabula. Some of these are new. That's good. Kirby. Mech gag and dark. We got a couple more. Okay, we got a couple more. I don't know if we get anything new in here. No, there's one more thing here. But I think we have to get all normal keychains in order to get it. And I don't know how that's going to be possible for me. So we've literally only got. Two more percents to go. That is literally it. So, yeah. And I think it's for the keychains. But we've completed everything else. So I guess I'll see you guys if I get more keychains. I'll see about that.
And what you saw there, guys, was the um, the Kirby Master video that exclusively plays if you've 100%ed the game. Uh, so once you go back to the file selects, it will immediately play. Uh, now, technically, I didn't actually do anything. I just downloaded someone else's save file to do this because I can't be asked to uh, find uh, all the other keychains because... Uh, a couple of methods is like going through levels again, or the arena or true arena. From what I've heard, the true arena always gives you new ones if you play it over and over again, but but you have to win it as well in order to actually obtain the cheat the keychains. And I'm not doing that, so um, yeah. But once everything is 100%, this movie icon turns gold, uh, and everything will be meddled. And you'll have a Platinum Kirby on your file select screen there. And on the title screen, uh, in some cases, um, we should have Hypernova Kirby. Here we go. Right there. And if we've beaten DDD Tour, King DDD will also be on the title screen as well. Pretty cool, huh? Well, yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, and if you're wondering what those green circles are on the story mode in DDD Tour, uh, they're just the Street Pass stuff. I think someone kept Street Pass enabled. So yeah, that's that's why those icons are still there when I downloaded the save. And I, f I think the save file is from an American version, I, even though I'm on the European version, but it actually works, surprisingly. So maybe the save data is compatible with all regions. Well you have to like replace it in a certain way. In an emulator it's easy, but on real hardware you're gonna have to have a modded system to do it or something. Um, I can't fully confirm it yet, but I'll probably put like text on the screen saying if it does work or not with Japanese or Korean versions, but still. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that once you finish the story mode, I don't know if they have to 100% it or not, uh, when you're at Finefields, you want to press down, and we go to a secret room. We go to a copy ability place. Now, I I discovered this by accident, technically, because um, uh, because you normally get like piece of text saying uh, you can now access the copy ability room, but I forgot to. But I was just messing around the menus when I was not recording, and um, and discovered it. So sorry, guys, you don't get to see the message, but you will get a message and all that. So yeah, we have a metal waddle D that can't be beaten. I believe we get more copy abilities around here. Yep, yeah, there's a lot more here, including my favorite hammer ability. Going through every single stage again. Yeah, this is the best area in the game. Legit. And yeah, we can leave with that as well. So it's a good way of, if you want to, like, let's say, fight bosses again, but with an ability you couldn't use before. So, yeah, it's very useful. Or to experience levels in a new way. Things like that. And, um... And we have all movies as well. Um, this credits we've not seen yet, so we'll look at that in the end. Um, along with every single keychain, which I'll probably make a separate video on. But we can see... That's a lot of keychains. I guess we'll partially look at them. Yeah, no one really bothered to look through the menus a bit, so that's why they still say no on this save file. But and the music changes as well to the one of the Hypernova themes. Do 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 do. And some of these have numbers next to them because it means how many keychains of that item they have, so they're duplicates. We can even uh, duplicate some ourselves, but uh, in fact, we'll do that in the end, shall we? Do 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 do. 
you can see that's a lot of keychains. And and it is it is a rare chance of getting these. The rare keychains are not a rare chance because let's say the first one you get is always one, so you cannot get more than one rare keychain. So that's why there's, there will be no numbers next to them. So yeah. So say the last one, Queen Sectonia, for example, you can't get two Sectonias. You can only have the one. Meanwhile, for the normal ones, you can have more than that. Uh, you can tell by the background of what, what kind of keychain they are. I think the rainbow ones means they're rare, and then the normal ones are the just the normal orange background. Eh, why not? We can just pay for these again. Which, I think it, it, it costs free play coins, so... Yeah. Let's just watch the animation one more time. Just a DDD ball. And obviously we can't do it anymore. So yeah. Uh, it turns out it doesn't actually mean... Uh, I was actually wrong about the whole thing that you have to wait another day. I think you can also do that, but... In reality... You, you pay five times. You can't do it. Then I think you complete a stage. And then you go back to the keychain area. And then you can actually get more then. That's how it actually works. It's not... Uh, just the day thing. I think it. Or I think the day thing can also work, but but obviously we would prefer the uh, quicker one. So maybe that that could have been another thing that I could have done, but I I actually never really knew that. So, uh, but still, let's look at the sound test. You can see we just uh, let's listen to the game soundtrack. all the classic tunes. Yeah, there's... And yeah, even the uh, the theme that plays when you highlight the 3DS icon plays here. You can also press auto as well, but... Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I guess we, we can... Hear my thoughts on this game. Now, Kirby Triple Deluxe, I'd say... I'd say is the best Kirby game on the... 3DS. I'd say Planet Robobot is also good as well, but I prefer this than Robobot, so to be fair. Uh, I'd say if I if I were to count uh, like let's say top Kirby games on the 3DS, Triple Deluxe would be my number one. Planet Robobot would be my second. And I don't know about the others because I've never played the other 3DS Kirby games. Uh, not counting the digital only spin-offs uh, that were also in Triple Deluxe and Planet Robobot under slightly different titles, but still. When I'm on about like the actual normal Kirby games like Battle Royale and Extra Epic Yarn, which is a port of the Wii's Epic Yarn. And I can't remember if there was any more Kirby games on the 3DS. I think they're the only ones, I think. I can't remember though, but still. But not, not as much as the normal DS. But the, that had like four main Kirby games. Uh, so, in which I've only played three of them. I haven't played uh, the last one made for the DS, which is Mass Attack. But I played the others and finished them. Only Canvas Curse was very hard, but I mean, still. 
Um, but I'd say I'd give Triple Deluxe a try, uh, even if you're not even a Kirby fan at all. I suggest this uh, game if you've got a 3DS. I would suggest Planet, Planet Robobot as well, but this I would suggest Triple Deluxe more, because that one's more entertaining for me. So, yeah. And not to mention, this year, 2024, celebrates its 10th anniversary, because this came out in 2014. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for Kirby Triple Deluxe. So, yeah. Very interesting, is it not? So, on that note, I would like to thank you guys for watching this series of videos. It's been a pleasure indeed. Obviously. And all that. Uh, so, not to mention, I shall see you guys next time for something else. It is I, Jamie, about. See you guys next time. Bye!